Okay, and we've got some Yaki and Jonah here. We'll take questions for him. Jonah, yeah. can you take us through those we'll last? Huh? Oh. oh. Can you take us through those last nine seconds? What's going through your head? Are you convinced you're Only taking that shot no matter what? Yeah, he told me before even the free throw ever happened, he's like, you're putting the ball in your hands and we're going to live or die. So I was like, we're going to live today. <laughs> we're going to live today. We're going to live and celebrate. Um, uh, no, just always had a good ball screen, which made him switch. Um, I wanted to switch. I wanted the big guy on me. He couldn't keep up. So I thought he had me going to the basket, step back, and then muscle memory just took over. I shook the three and I happened to go in. What does it mean to you to close out your last game at the Owen Center this way? You can only dream of um, I dreamed of it last night. I was just thinking like to myself and before I went to bed, just what if? Like what if I was gonna end it this way? Like what if I break the record? Um, and it happened to happen. So I guess like if you dream it, it can happen. How many of those have you had? Let late game shots like that? Um, I wouldn't say like uh, game winners, but I would say like late game stretch. I had to take care of the ball and make plays. So um, the past couple of games in Pac-12, coach has been trusting me with the ball more down the stretch and, and um, make plays and happen to do that tonight. But I mean game winners. Uh, that would be my first one. Yeah? Probably my, probably my first one in, in college, yeah. What's How do you get the free throws out of your head before that last shot? How do you clear out? Oh, I'm a shooter. It just goes. I missed in seven in a row, the next seven going in. So that's all you got to think. I missed two free throws. It's like, okay. But the three ball is just, I know it's going. Uh, I know it's going in from I shot it. I'll let it go. What's going through your mind when it goes in? Um, the workout's paid off, I guess. It's just, <laughs> thanks, coach, for staying up with me and getting up with me in the mornings and rebounding for me when I'm breaking and rebounding for my mission. So I'm just happy um, that I made it in this. Thank you for the workouts and happy to go in, yeah. So, Jonah, how do you feel doing this in front of your whole family and your high school coach was here? Yeah, super special. Um, everybody came out from Santa Monica. Everybody from my family came out. Um, to end it this way, it's just you can't really ask for anything else. So I'm just super grateful to have gone here and uh, been close to all my family, and I'm just grateful. Jonah, how was the relationship developed with your coach uh, over throughout your college career? Um, super well, actually. Um, I, I've talked to him when I was in high school too, you know, um, we built a relationship, he knew my dad before, so it wasn't I was coming here cold feet, I knew him, I knew Jason Hart, so over the years they just kept on trusting me, trusting me, trusting me, throwing me in the lap, I was a freshman, um, they trusted me back then, so now it's just, um, they trust me even more and um, put the ball in my hands, um, he's just been a great coach for me and just encouraged me for four years. And yeah, what's Jonah meant, especially these last few games, it seems like he's really taken things to another level and kind of carried the team on his back when it needs it. Uh, absolutely, he's our uh, senior captain. Uh, we look up to him. Uh, we trust him fully, 100%. You know, I love playing with John. He's a great player to play with, and I'm happy to be able to play with him. You think that shot was going in, Lane? Absolutely. I said a oh. great pick. Oh, oh. Why don't oh you did? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't call it Tim Jam? <laughs> Man. Jonah, does it mean anything more to do it against, you know, a rival in, you know, UCLA? I mean, you've had storied battles against them over the course of your career. Oh, 100 percent. Um, it's just a dagger in their heart. Um, I know it's going to stick with them forever. It's going to stick with me forever too. But to do it, uh, packed house last night, last game in Galen. Like I said before, it's just something you can't really even dream of or think about. It's just great. You're just grateful that it happened, and I'm grateful that it did. At some point after after the shot, after the celebration, and everything. Do you kind of flash back to the four years here and the, you know everything that, that you've gone through and everything that you've dealt with and everything, every way that you've succeeded, just being a four-year guy, which is unusual on this level. Right. Um, I, guess, I don't know. I, a lot of emotion going through my head at that point. Um, I made it. My teammates came in to swarm me. The gym was going insane. Um, most people on the sideline. Um, I don't really had time to sit and think about and reflect. Yeah, but when I do, I think I'll for sure just let it all with tears and you know just as and be emotional about it. And what would be what would be the thing that stands out most throughout your FC career? Um, I got a lot. I can't even put a pinpoint one to be honest. There's so many teams, so many guys I play with, so many memories. Um, I would say probably the one that sticks out the most would probably be making a turn of my freshman year. It was it was super exciting to be back in uh, be in March Madness. I've never been here before, but. Hopefully you get back into this year, so uh, probably one of the most exciting moments. Jonah, uh, Coach Cronin gave you high praise, said you were an NBA type player. When you hear accolades like that, what does that mean to you? I uh, gotta work harder. I just is not. I'm not there yet. Um, I'm glad he thinks I am, but you know, there's more work to be done. Um, still more work in the season to be done, but 
Um, you got to keep on working. That's how you get. That's how you get where you want to be. I'm nervous. Not satisfied yet. Uh, I know the team isn't either. Yeah, um, your coach talking joked about you uh, setting that moment up by missing the free throws and coming back for <laughs> when he when he called your number right be, before they missed free throw. What was your thought process? I'm gonna hit the shot. Um, by uh, live or die, I'm gonna make it. Um, if we lose, I know it's gonna be on me. But if we win, it's gonna be on me. So I would just. I know the play was good. Um, I knew they're gonna trap higher switch, so I got me what I wanted, and um, I happened to just step back and knock it down. So um, when you called me, when you told me before the time, I was like, I gotta make this thing. My head, we made a free throw. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna send us home. So that's what happened. Like after they were, they seemed to have you pretty stifled in those first ten minutes. What changed when you came back in the game, and and what helped you down the stretch? I guess. Um, I was just playing with more confidence, honestly. Uh, beginning of the game, I wasn't really rattled, but I wasn't really like playing aggressive like I should. And once I came in after my uh, after the media uh, timeout, I just came in more aggressive, and I stuck with me the entire game. The team had been struggling on offense up to that point. You know, like scoring 14 out of 17. Did you feel like the team needed a boost in that moment? Uh, I, th I think we all boosted each other, honestly. We all, we all played off each other, not just me, him, Daniel, Nick, all of us. We just boosted each other up. With the senior leadership, Guard in the big base, he seemed to be built for March. He's the kind of team to do well in the tournament. You thought about that? Is this, do you build off momentum off a game like this? Oh, for sure. We've been building since you beat Arizona last week. Um, we've been building Arizona, Arizona State, now UCLA. Um, those are some of the top teams in our league. We knocked them out. Um, now our confidence level as an ultra, as an ultimate high. So going to the tournament, we have supreme confidence in the bigs, playing where they're playing, the guards playing with such confidence that we're playing. Um, we're going to be hard to beat, I think, on a neutral floor. What are some of the things that you guys this is what I think you guys do. You really have to improve to win the Pac-12 title. What are some things you think you have to really work on? Uh, getting more easy baskets. Um, sometimes we have to struggle with baskets. We should get like more run out last, more steals, more easy touch for him to turn around and send because it's automatic bucket if he gets it. But this is more transition baskets. Because our, our half of our offense is good. We're going to score. Our defense on the other side, we're going to stifle the team and play defense. So we just got to learn to score easier ways. Uh, to be honest, sometimes we don't play a full 40 minutes of basketball. I think we... Uh, Need to make sure we're playing a full 40, no sudden laps, and just keep going hard all 40 minutes. Don't, don't let off the gas. So why, why is that? This is a 33rd game. What, what's, what's keeping the team from playing a full 40? Um, you never know. Um, some people may be going through some stuff. Like You don't know like what it is, but I just say like when, when we're in between the lines, uh, the, all that stuff should just go. Um, but some people um, don't have that. But, you know, I think – for the most part, the past couple of games we uh, stuck a full 40 minutes out and played hard to the buzzer. So I think um, now we just know what it takes. Um, we've been knowing it takes, but I think now we're really locked into the details and what it takes to win. Uh, yeah, so this is your last year at Jalen Center. Look, look back to this past season, like what's your biggest takeaway? Uh, I remember playing my first game uh, against FAMU. I was thinking about it walking here. Like this could be my last game at Galen. I'm just sucking it all in, just reminiscing, honestly. You know, it's been a fun ride, but it's not over yet. Any other questions? Okay, thanks, guys.